Hi guys and welcome back to part two. So in this video I am going to finish off this nail here and I want to do a 3D bat. I love how they all look together, they are so different. Love them. Anyway, so I've got this iPad. This is a really old one, but I'm going to search for a bat. So, bat pictures. So then I go on to images, so I click on that and then I'll put it on the side so you can see. So all of these are the bats that come up and I just want a plain black one because my uh, skills when it comes to painting as long as with everything else are not good. Um, so I've just seen that one, that one might do. They are so cute. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my life, how cute. Oh. Right, I'm gonna go back to that one. Okay, I'm just gonna do it off my phone, I think, because it was too big on the iPad. And I want it round about that big, because it'll go on the, the nail like that. Okay. So all I'm gonna do, because I want it that size, is take a picture. Like that. And then, I have got these. I have done this process before, and I did it with a mermaid tail. I will leave that at the end of the, 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 the well, I'll leave that video at the end of this one, so you can click on that if you want to go see the mermaid tail, because it was so cool. And in this, you can organize it how big you want. You've got to do that first. Okay, that'll do. So this you can see through. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to outline, I'm going to have to switch a light off to do this. I'm going to outline on the rough side of the paper, not the smooth. So I've got a pen. Now I want something hard to put down so I can really press on the outline of this so it shows up at the back. Like that. So that when you turn it over you can see it that side. So that's the first part of this 3D thing done. So the powders I'm going to be using for this are Neo's Pure Black and this one, because I wanted just a little bit of sparkle in it but I want to keep it black and this one is Shotgun Black Super Fine Glitter. Now this is a raw glitter so I'm going to have to either add clear acrylic and then dip the clear in or make sure I add it when this is wet. I'm not quite sure which way around I'm going to do it yet. So I'm going to get the acrylic liquid that I was using yesterday with the black as you can see all the black bits at the bottom. You don't want to use this liquid again so you need to chuck that after. Right so basically all I'm doing is getting the black acrylic and going inside the outline where I've just drawn on the other side. But I am going to dry the back of the brush out quite a bit so I've got control of the black because it is on this shiny surface. I've done it on this side because it's easier to get off and as I said this is the easiest way to get any 3D stuff that you want to put on your nails when you can't do anything apart from flowers like me. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm just going to wait for that to completely dry, then I'm going to get Naos clear and encapsulate before I file it. Okay, so now I am using my electric drill with this really tiny drill bit and I got this from JC Master Beauty. So I'm just using this little tiny drill bit to go around the outside and then I'm gonna use a bigger one just to smooth over the body of the bat. So now all that's filed, I have just put some like white tack on there and I've just pushed the little bat on just so it stays there and I'm going to put some top coat on. This is nail, nails, what? This is Nao's gel nail sealer. I'm gonna put, put a nice coat on the front of that and cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, I'm conflicted now because I haven't made the best job on the ears and the feet, as you can see. So, what I'm thinking of doing is turning this upside down and pointing it underneath so it looks as if there's bat, bat wings coming out of the nail and then you don't see the face or the attempted face. So, if I sort of mark off where the nail ends and then I can put the bat wings there. I think that looks a lot better than sticking them on top. What do you think? I know you can't answer me right away because I am really conflicted in what to do. Because other than that it would have gone at the top. But to be honest it's too much like glitter as well. So I am thinking of going underneath like that. Oh I wish I could get your advice guys. I am a bit stuck and then I've got these AB crystals from Born Pretty I think I got them from and I was just going to do um, some a cluster like at the top there yeah I'm going to put them under like that so how I'm going to do that is measure up first of where this nail is so I've got to put the acrylic there so I'm going to get some clear acrylic, I've really dried out the back of the brush and I'm going to put a couple of blobs where I want the bat to go and then squeeze it down. Oh I'm really happy with that, oh wow, okay. Right, I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'll come back. Okay, so now that's dried, I am going to put a cluster of crystals on this nail and then I'm going to put some of Nao's clear acrogel on, put another layer of top coat on, then I'm going to put the crystals on and then I'm going to cure.
right then guys well that is the end of this video oh my god i love them they probably didn't turn out the easiest design that i could have done for this easy one out of three <laughs> but yeah i thoroughly enjoyed doing these oh my goodness obviously if you wanted to wear these just take that you don't have to do that and just leave the stamping on and stuff but yeah i wanted to maybe take them to the extreme and do that so please see part one because i am doing a giveaway for the glitter mix which is this and if you want these nails to come along with the glitter mix i will send these on to you too but i really hoped you liked this two-parter and how easy it is to get something that's 3d just trace it and then put acrylic over it it's so easy all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this one out of possibly three of my halloween videos that i want to do for you this year thank you so much for watching and i will leave part one as a clickable link at the end of this video all right guys bye